Good morning, gamers. Welcome back. So, party still being in Barovia. Yes, we're back to to our party again. They had just the last we left off, which was been five weeks ago now, uh, at least according to the videos. We, well, I'm about to explain it all. It's been a, the, the the first game session since then has been interesting. That's right. I am the AMDM Lee. This is my cup of coffee, and you're watching Bridgewater Nights. Okay, so, the party had just defeated Babala Saga, taken out several Scarecrows, destroyed uh, La Saga's hut from moving, recaptured the, as they call it, the Magic Pinecone, and camped down for the night. They knew that there was a light coming from across the river. They knew that... Uh, there was a defunct mansion there, so they 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 bedded down for the night. So the next day, they proceed to approach the torn down mansion. Upon getting closer, they find the fenced-in pen of the goats, and then proceeded for almost an hour trying to disarm if the goats were magical or not. Whether the goats had been people who had been turned into goats or just goats. And also took a long time trying to figure out how to dispel the howling skulls when they tried started to cut the, the, the fence open. So after a good amount of time, they find they realize okay it's a goat. So they proceed to they killed one of them and proceeded to cook it or skin it. So while Clay is butchering the animal and field dressing it, the others proceeded to explore the rest of the castle or the mansion. They find nothing other than the the snakes. Uh, they did find the after a while of searching the area. They did find the statue of Melina, or I forget her name exactly, uh, of Strahd's first love. And after that, they proceed across the way to the. Standing Stones. And had an interesting conversation with the one character there who, for some reason, I decided to play her off as kind of a... Yes, well, what do, you, what do I do? I, 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 I watch Pavala Saga. For who? Well, for the people, you know. And Well, y'all killed her, don't you? Know, there's nothing else to watch. <laughs> Which is kind of, just kind of crazy. And they kept asking her questions, asking her if she's a druid. And she's like, nope, 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 not a druid. But and they're like, who do you talk to? Oh, the ravens. <laughs> you talk to the ravens? Yeah, I talk to the ravens. Why? <laughs> and it just went on and on and on. Uh, I did, they did uh, notice that there was a couple of bottles from the wizard of winery so they made the they made the connection that she knew after conversing a few more minutes that she knew Davian and his family at the wizard of wines they finally gave up on that conversation after deciding that she was a druid which me telling her that she's adamant that she's not a druid 
and they kept trying to get her to use the stones to cause them to teleport, see if they work as a teleportation thing, and all kinds of stuff. And then finally, when they were leaving, they looked back and she all of a sudden gets surrounded by a swarm of ravens and is gone. And they're like, yep, she's a druid. How else could that happen? <laughs> so, moving on from there, they slowly made their way back to the Mount Ballar Ballartock to meet the Mad Mage. Who I wasn't that encounter didn't quite go the way I wanted it to. He got the first round off with a surprise attack, but um, on his, by the time his second round came apart, came to, uh, they had knocked him down pretty good. And by the time the third round came around, they had knocked him down really good. And he started trying to flee. So they held off on their attacks. And was just trying to talk to him. And I had them all go through their rounds. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? So they attempted to dispel magic. And the uh, Desiree said, all right, I'm going to hold my magic until he does something. Then I'm going to cast dispel magic. Or counter charm. Counter spell. So he rolled. I said, well, the, the, the wizard snaps his finger. Go ahead and do your, your counter spell. He rolled a 18 on the counter spell. The DC to, to counter spell that was 19. Because it's a ninth level spell. So he did time stop. At that point, I could have fucked him up. <laughs> but I decided that this wizard was just trying to get away from him at this point. So he created Mordekainen's magnificent mansion and went inside and closed the door. Um... And he had, what did he say? He said something. And one of the party members goes, he shouldn't know that was worth that, That's not what he said. I said, no, that's exactly what he said. And then they're like, they knock on the door after they get out of it. And they're like, we have cookies. So he opens the door and goes, cookies? You have cookies? So they gave him some ration takes a bite he, or he he closes the door and opens it back up and goes these cookies are horrible and throws them at them and then just turns around and walks inside leaving the door open so they all come inside and then proceeded for the rest of the night trying to figure out how to make him well again they have a few items that now can that may bring him back to his senses. Or he may wake up before them and decide they're a threat and try to kill them all. We'll find out next week. That's all I got for now, guys. Remember, if you like these videos, please click on the like button. If you think someone else would like them, please click on the share button. Every like's an inspiration, every share is an advantage, and every subscription is an experience point. Help me gain 300 experience points so I can get to second level. And as always, the AMDM does hereby authorize you, the viewer, to gain 10 experience points for every video that you share. Just tell your DM the AMDM said so. And that's all I have for now. So, go forth and roll some dice.